My name's Ethan. I work for an agency called Midnight Mango. We have offices based in Glastonbury, and we've recently opened an office in London. Um, largely, we began in folk and ska and gypsy music. Recently, in the most recent years, we've moved into pop, rock, bit of kind of bit of everything, quite broad. Uh, this weekend, largely, we haven't sold a lot in the past to Scandinavian festivals, Scandinavian promoters, so it was to meet new people here. Uh, equally, we are expanding, uh, bringing on new agents, so we're looking at some new artists that could work within perhaps the folk market in the UK as well. Some, some of the purpose, yeah, will be to look at acts that are here, um, whether that's Danish acts or acts that are already here at the festival as well, to do a little bit of uh, scouting. But most the, the main predominant reason was to help bring more of our eyes here because um, it sounds lovely I'm not sure why we haven't done much here before everything has been beyond my ex expectations genuinely it's been amazing um, from helping me get here to getting set up to whatever the actual festival itself is laid out in what I think is a really really good way there's been no bleed from tents you know I can watch a really quiet acoustic act and not be bothered by another loud act on the main stage or whatever um, which I've been to festivals this summer where that's not the case uh, it really does disrupt the experience I guess well uh, the lineup very diverse very good uh, it's nice that you kind of repeat artists as well so if you missed them earlier you can see them a bit later I like that I think it's kind of good um, and yeah, yeah, I think that it's, it's definitely something that I wasn't expecting it to be, but I'm not sure what I was expecting as well, you know. So. Even just from the artist that I saw yesterday on, from the Spot Folk program, um, there are definitely a lot of folk scenes and folk schemes that would be fitting for those artists. Um, particularly uh, yesterday, uh, Mary Jean, I thought she was really strong yesterday. She. Um, has sort of a crossover gap and I could see that working in a commercial market in the UK as well so there's definitely going to be some things that I'm going to be following up on uh, as a small agency we'll obviously have to see how that works out but um, yeah